Hello, my name is Scott Gardner and I'm the Municipal Accessibility Specialist for the City of Thunder Bay. The Accessibility Advisory Committee is building on the RESPECT initiative by turning the focus to issues faced by people with disabilities. By highlighting the issues that they face daily, the hope is to raise awareness of how people should treat one another and create a more positive community that celebrates our differences and builds respect in all aspects of city life. Respect breaks down barriers. This is Tessa Soderberg. She is visually impaired and represents the blind and visually impaired community on the Thunder Bay Accessibility Advisory Committee. Being visually impaired, she faces many challenges every day doing things that most of us take for granted. Um, as, as people who are visually impaired, we face all kinds of barriers and, and challenges simply around everyday items that everyday events that most people take for granted from um, you know getting to and from places to uh, accessing places to to reading mail and documents and just about everything you know can can prove uh, to be a barrier if uh, accommodations aren't made. Tessa encourages people to look and interact with the person instead of focusing on the disability they may have or the equipment and support that they need to function. This is a barrier that she faces every day with her service animal. People tend to focus on the dog and do not pay as much attention to her, which can be dangerous and affects the behaviour of her dog. I'm trying to um, get people to understand that I need them to listen to me while they're, they're actually trying to make eye contact or wanting to distract the dog who is busy doing her job and isn't supposed to be interacting with the public. So anytime um, a dog is working, anytime they have a harness or a, um, a jacket on indicating that they're a service animal, that means they're working. And um, the best thing that people can do is ask. To me, that's just um, common respect just to, to ask first before doing that because by not asking you're putting that person and that dog's safety at risk by distracting them. Tessa suggests that you do not just assume that a person living with a disability needs help. The respectful action would be to ask if they need help. It's, it's important that everybody be allowed be enabled to do everything that they can for themselves and if they want help or if you think they need help I mean most people will ask for help and and if you think that somebody who is blind would like you to open the door for them then ask them and maybe they'll say yes and maybe they won't I think that they should be given that choice for more information on the Thunder Bay Accessibility Advisory Committee, go to the City of Thunder Bay website or call 625-2240. For Go Thunder Bay, I'm Janice Gummison.